Since I'll be traveling all over the globe, visiting people of all different languages, Edison made this translator for me. How does it work? Watch this. Where is the nearest Connect Field office? ¿Dónde está la oficina de campo de Connect más cercana? It has all types of settings, like Chinese. Or French. What's this for? For Mike? Airway is way, ide iris ne, onect k, ilfe, office way. Big Latin. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is how we answer the call of the Great Commission. How long does it take to get a pilot's license? I don't know. Why? I want to write something on the sky. And in order to do that, I need to know how to fly. Makes sense. Just imagine. You're walking down the street, and you look up, and you see the words, Visit Connect HQ written on the sky. I can see it. There's a blank canvas up there that nobody is using. Well, don't type the computer, just in case we get a message from Captain Ray. That's not how computers work. It's been three days since she left, and I'm anxious to hear about how it's going. She should be touring the offices in South America. Like Georgia? Louisiana? No, not the southern states. South America. The continent. Oh, that's South America. I'm so jealous she gets to travel the world and tell people about Jesus, just like it says in the Great Commission. The Great Commission. That's what I said. I know, but you should say great like great. The Great Commission. The Great Commission. You're getting closer. It's just like that Bible link to Skip Vision Group made for us. I don't think I've seen it. Oh man, just check this out, sister. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. Want to take a trip? Sure, Vanessa. Where are we going? Anywhere you want. Uh, okay. How about uh, Paris, France? God, good choice. <laughs> wow. <gasps> oh my oh. goodness. Bonjour, oui, oui, je ne comprends pas. I can smell the croissants. Oh, I could eat croissants all day. Mm -hmm. But really, though, what should we do while we're here? Let's get some French fries. Oh, you would say that. <laughs> all right. Winston, that's a good idea, but I was actually thinking we could make some disciples. Uh, how do you do that? Look at these verses that I found in the book of Matthew. This was right after Jesus came back to life. He said, So you must go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. Cool! Let's do it! <laughs> Uh, but before we do, what's a disciple again? All right, that's a good question, and I probably should have started there, but a disciple is a word that means student or learner. And how do we make them? Well, we make them just like Jesus made them. Jesus made disciples by spending time with people, teaching them things, and praying together. 
He showed them what God's love is like, and he showed them how to be free from sin. I thought Jesus was the only one who could make someone a disciple. Anyone can make disciples, literally anyone. Like me? Kids, adults, even you, anyone. Anyone can make disciples. It's up to us, you, me, you guys, everyone, to go all over the world teaching the good news about God with everyone we know. From Paris, to the school, to the mall, to the jungle, to the stadium, to the moon. Wow, I can smell the moon cheese. It doesn't matter where we go, Winston. Jesus says he will always be with us. He says, you can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. Jesus goes with us as we tell others about him. That's a great promise. Jesus gives us the power to make disciples. Exactly. We tell the people we know, they'll tell the people they know, they'll tell the people they know, then 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 they'll tell the people they know. Okay, I think we know. Where should we start? Oh. Oh, let's go to Belgium. Oh, we can get some waffles. You would say that. <gasps> oh, we could go to Turkey. Ooh. I'm gonna stop you right there because maybe we should just go to the grocery store. It sounds like you're really hungry. <gasps> hungry? Let's go there. We could go anywhere. Yep, just like that. Jesus told us to tell everyone about him all over the world, so the people we tell will tell their friends, and so on. That's what we get to do here at Connect HQ. We help kids around the world every day by finding answers to their problems. I know, but don't you ever just wanna go, go, go? Go travel the world and see other cultures? Like, when I look at this globe, I want everyone on it to know Jesus. Like, do they know him here? Or there? Or should we go tell them there? Shouldn't we be doing that? Wow, Harper. I can see you're really passionate about sharing God's good news. But how would we ever get to Kyrgy Kyrgyzstan? Am I saying that right? It means more vowels. Okay, leave it to me. I'll find a way for us to get across the world to share Jesus. Flight for beginners. Still working on riding something on the sky? This says if an airplane is being vectored onto an approach, the approach clearance is typically given in conjunction with the final intercept vector. What does that mean? Basically, no idea. <laughs> well, hey, this box is full of parts Maurice ordered for the satellite. I'm just gonna leave it here until I find them. That was quick. He ordered those parts two days ago. Yeah, it shipped from overseas. He must have expedited them. You know what? Speaking of speed, it's okay if you don't learn how to fly in one day. It takes time, even for birds. He's right. Maybe there's a faster way for Harper and me to share God's good news with the world. Hey, Harper, can you let Maurice know that his satellite parts are in the lounge? Copy that. Everything all right? Yeah, I was just watching this message from Captain Ray. She's in Venezuela. Check this out. Hey guys, I made it to one of my first stops on my world tour. I'm at our field office in Venezuela. I am so thankful for being able to be on the ground seeing what God is doing in this country. I get to share what I believe because I know people learn about Jesus when I share God's good news. Thank you so much for letting me get out here and share Jesus. I hope that everything is going well on Connect HQ. Adios. Did you hear that? People learn about Jesus when I share God's good news. Yeah, man, it's awesome she's getting to be out there. I know, but what about us? I mean, I love being at Connect HQ, but most of the people I know already know Jesus. Yeah, I know what you mean. It can be confusing. You know, we tell our kids to share Jesus at school, but it can be difficult if you're homeschooled. Exactly. 
Some days you'll be around people who follow Jesus and others you won't. God wants us to look for every chance to share Jesus. I get that. Harper, come down to the lounge. I figured it out. You know, if that's about Dot wanting to fly, I better go with you. Let me guess, Dot is in the box. Nope, sorry big guy. We thought this was your plan. Harper, we can't ship ourselves overseas in that box. There are satellite parts in there. But once those are out, we can hop in and be on our way. Kyrgyzstan, no. It doesn't even have to be there. It could be anywhere, just like it says in the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15. Say it with me like this. Mark 16, 15. Mark, Mark 16, 15. 15. Go, go, go into all the world. Go, 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 go into, into all the world. And preach the good news to everyone. And preach the good news to everyone. If we can't go in the box, can we get two first class tickets to fly to Kyrgyzstan and preach the good news to them? Well, Dot, you said it yourself. It could be anywhere. God just wants us to share the good news with everyone. It could be people on the opposite side of the world or people who are right next door. So we don't have to travel to share the good news of Jesus? And just because you're not traveling the world doesn't mean you're disobeying Jesus. The Great Commission reminds us that we should share Jesus every chance you get. The Great Commission. Yeah, that's what I said. Not quite, but I see what you're saying. Just because you can't visit other countries doesn't mean you can't pray for them. Or giving them links to help them solve their problems. I guess we do find lots of ways to share God's good news with others. Like praying for them. And being a good friend and building trust. Sharing verses to people who are hurting. Inviting friends to church by asking them. Or by writing it on the sky. That's what I'm still working on. Okay, so if we split duties and work floor by floor, we can have Connect HQ looking unbelievably shiny by the time Captain Ray gets back. This HQ of mine. We're gonna let it shine. Even though I don't have a pilot's license or even my own airplane, I found these goggles so I can look the part. Well, did you give up on learning how to fly? Never! A good friend told me it takes time, even for birds. <laughs> Well, if anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks, big guy. Wow, that's really good. He's got the whole world in his hands. We carry the message, but he carries the world. I like that. It's the Great Commission. That's exactly how you say it. Hi, I'm Harper. And I'm Dot. We learned some things we'd like to share with you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Mark. Say it with us like this. Mark 16, 15. Go, go, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. When you choose to follow Jesus, He has a job for you. Share His message with everyone you know. Absolutely everyone. This mission to share His message is called the Great Commission. Jesus tells us to share his good news with others so that they will also choose to follow him. And then those people will share with people they know, and they will share with people they know until lots of people choose to follow Jesus. Everyone means everyone. It might mean sharing Jesus with people on the other side of the world, or it might mean people that you see every day. Your neighbors, your friends at school, your family members. Just because you don't travel the whole world doesn't mean you're not part of the mission. Just speak up about Jesus every chance you get. People learn about Jesus when I share God's good news. Not everyone knows Jesus. That's why the Great Commission is so important. Maybe the people you know have heard of Jesus. Maybe they haven't. Maybe they believe in God. Maybe they don't. No matter what, they need you to share Jesus so they can choose to stop living a life without knowing God's love, forgiveness, and forever friendship. Thanks for listening. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you.